Um, but if we normalize it, it becomes a little bit easier. So turn to the, to the person next to you and ask them their pronoun. What is this? Cool. All right. Not too hard, right? Super simple. Does anybody have any questions about that process, though? Yeah. Me and Amber are going to do a, 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 a um, role play right now. So, ask you my pronouns. Hello, what are your pronouns? I'm obviously male. <laughs> that may be so, but sex is not equal gender, so what is your gender identity? Because there are multiple gender identities out there with pronouns that correlate with those. Like mine or she or hers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, he, him, is. Okay, so that didn't go the way I wanted to go. <laughs> so, if someone, so let's say you ask someone their pronoun, they're like, obviously I'm a guy. Like, look, right? That's an opportunity to kind of flip the script and one, educate them on what pronouns are, but also let them know that you never assume, right? I never assume gender, so I make it a point um, to ask people their gender pronouns. So, that's even, that's even more awkward, right, when that happens. But it's also an opportunity to flip the script, the script, and kind of say we should never assume gender, um, gender pronouns. So I like to normalize this process when asking. That makes sense. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? So we also have pronoun yeah. buttons on there, and you can take this little like paper that talks about pronouns a lot more in depth if you want to. And those are skin. Yeah, um, I just always wonder, like I know the color of the rainbow is always used to represent this community, like do they mean anything to each other? Or yeah. It's just something. Um, they do. Uh, I know that orange is healing, green is life. Um, we used to have two other colors, pink and teal, but those there's a whole history behind that one, and I know the meaning behind that one. I think purple is magic. Um, mm. one is sex and uh, one is spirituality. That's something I, I need to brush up on as far as like yeah. flag history. There are a million flags within the community. <laughs> um, but yeah, they all have they all have a meaning and there's all different types of flags. If you walk through the front you see like the trans flag like that represents that specific community. And like the old one you might see if you go to Hillcrest, I know that some people still have the old one, the pink and teal. Um, fun fact they stopped making those because pink and teal were really hard dyes to use for really expensive. So they're like, oh let's just cheapen that out and just take it off. But they each have their own very specific um, meaning behind them, which you can Google more out there. Cool. Any other questions? Thank you so much. Yeah, no, thank you all for coming and asking amazing questions.